What's up my bros? Welcome in next episode of building E46 Turbo. In today's video we will take you on a step-by-step -step journey of creating a custom cylinder head cover for a high performance engine. We do such cover to our engine because OM1s and Chinese for 5 euro burning and breaking. We started with 3D scanning, a technology that allows us to capture the exact dimensions and contours of existing cylinder head. With a 3D scan in hand, we move to the digital field. Using specialized CAD software, we will create a digital model of the cylinder head cover. This phase involves refining the design, ensuring it not only fits perfectly, but also meets the performance and aesthetics requirements. So hello, my name is Stefan Radziszewski and Stan asked me to show you something about uh, our E46 Turbo project. I am designing uh, a valve cover that is meant to be machined on our uh, CNC uh, machines. Uh, I want to take you through the designing process, I want to show you our prototype and I want to show what else needs to be done to finish that project. So first of all, we are switching for these TFSI uh, coils, uh, so they have special type of mounting. They're not typical M54 uh, uh, mounting holes. We have to make some uh, changes in the valve cover to accommodate this type of coils because the socket for them is kinda different than the OEM one. The second change is purely cosmetical because I want to change the oil cap uh, for the threaded one because I want to make it compatible with the aftermarket oil caps, for example. Uh, and we also want to make custom one. So our third uh, boundary condition is that we want to make sure that the OEM uh, gaskets uh, are also compatible with our CNC machined one valve cover. So the first stage of uh, reverse engineering is 3D scanning. So basically we measured manually the gap uh, that is needed to accommodate the uh, OEM ceiling uh, and we needed the scan to get a brief overview uh, which, uh, which geometry we should stick. So here we've got the OEM cover, as we can see it's kind of dirty because we use the special powder that is removing the shine out of the glossy surface uh, because the 3D scanners don't like them really much, they don't read the geometry really well. These uh, points, uh, reference points, are here uh, because the 3D scanner needs to know its location in a space. Uh, without that it will be possible but it, ha it would have a good trouble finding where it is. Uh, so, we measured everything. We measured the gap uh, that is needed to accommodate the uh, OEM ceiling uh, and we needed the scan to get a brief overview uh, which, uh, which geometry we should stick. We also made a 3D scan of the engine bay because we didn't want to have any collisions with our shiny new uh, CNC and expensive uh, billet uh, valve engine cover. So the second phase was designing CAD model. That's the thing I figured out. Uh, it's optimized for CNC machining of course because the OEM valve cover was made, I don't know, via, I think, injection molding uh, of plastic. So there are some other rules of designing such element of, and for example, CNC machined one. Uh, as we can see right here, we've got the modified sockets for the colors. Uh, and of course, uh, I tried to mimic uh, all the OEM gaps uh, and shape of the gap uh, outside the perimeter, let's say that way, uh, to fit the OEM uh, gasket and also uh, the gasket for the coils. Uh, and because of that, uh, not everything can be seen uh, in CAD. We 3D printed that prototype uh, of course, there were made uh, some changes 
so that uh, 3D printed valve cover really helps uh, a lot. Uh, we can take it uh, with us and for example fit it on the newly built engine and to it should look something like that. Also I wanted to make sure that the OEM gaskets are, uh, will be uh, compatible with our uh, valve covers. These preparations, these tests are really necessary because material alone costs something like about $1,000 for us. Uh, and it would be really not great if some mistakes were CNC machined.